In this video, I just want to show you how to use the Gravity Forms plugin. This is a premium plugin, and I've had the opportunity in the past to meet the, um, the lead developer on this, Carl Hancock, at a WordCamp. And um, this is a plugin that we use at iThemes and also webdesign.com. And so I just want to show you, I have purchased the, the plugin and I've uploaded it to this demo site. And once you activate the plugin, um, you click on this edit forms and I'm just going to show you in this video how cool it is uh, and easy it is to use this plugin for forms on your site. So we'll say you don't have any forms, create one and we'll start here. Uh, what I love about Gravity is it's drag and drop and it's real easy to just get in here and edit your form. So I'm going to say test form. I can write a description up here in the advanced and the uh, confirmation you can do all sorts of different things like redirect to a you know a thank you page you can redirect it to an actual WordPress page on your site or you can just put text uh, in the advanced thing you can even drill down and, and you know change the submit button text here and then there's advanced options for CSS and also other things so okay so I've started this first form and then I just drag or I, or I just click uh, the next field and uh, they have two bars, three bars over here that's really cool. The standard fields, then you can go through uh, advanced, uh, and then even a post fields. Now, in the past, I'd used a plugin called uh, TDO Mini Forms um, to, on a site that I wanted user generated content. And this is one of the awesome advanced functions that uh, the Gravity Forms does is that you can actually allow people to post through this form into your WordPress blog. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to show you these standard fields. So I just say, you know, I can say whatever I want here. Um, there's a drop down, check boxes, you know, for all your different forms. Um, there, there's just some really neat stuff to do. Um, in the past, we've used forms heavily to be able to understand what customers want in a site or a theme or whatever. And so it's very vital for us to have a great form plugin like this. Um, so that's some of the basics. Once you do that, you just save it. And then Gravity's got this cool thing where you can preview the form. Let's do that. Let's look at it before it goes live on your site. Um, there's the form. Um, that's just a, a WordPress preview. Let's go back to, um, you can set up notifications on this form um, that where you want that to be sent, and then you can continue editing. Um, okay, now, so once you get your form, this is just a, a real preview to this form just to show you how powerful this is. Now you can go set up your new page wherever you want this form to be. Now we're using the iThemes Flex Pro, Pro, Pro blog here. And uh, so let's just create a page called Forms. Or let me just say Test Form here. Okay. Now you, you're in your page or post. There's this little icon that shows up that's the Gravity Form. Click that. Then you select the form, insert form. And then once you've done that, you click Publish. let's go view the page and there's my form now you can drill down and say you don't want you know this you want WordPress to have the content you can hide these things but uh, anyway there's your form that's how easy it is to use the gravity forms plugin now there's other things here I'll just show you real quick so then you can go in here and you can look at your entries you can download those in this export function here um, and then you can tweak some of the settings here if you want and then there's also a help function here now what I love about uh, gravity is they have when you buy the license key um, they have uh, that enables you to to use their support but also to upgrade the plugin when you can and what I love about premium plugins just like themes is uh, Carl and his team are committed to continually um, develop and refine their their plugins so it's the Gravity Forms plugin. Um, we've got a link on this post for you, and I hope you're able to use it for your business. I'd suggest getting the developer's license so you can use it on as many sites as you want uh, for clients, for yourself, whatever, without hindrance. Again, Gravity Forms, and uh, thanks for your time.